Creative Fabrica has recently released a great tool that you can try for free. It's called the Creative Fabrica Studio, which is an online solution where you can create amazing designs that are perfect for print on demand, social media, and much more. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the main features of Creative Fabrica Studio, which is completely free, and highlight one of its amazing free tools, the free vectorizer. But before that, my name is Wild, and this channel is all about print on demand and designing. So if you find this interesting to you, feel free to hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified whenever I release a new video. With that being said, let's get right into it. But before that, let's talk about Creative Fabrica. If you're not aware of Creative Fabrica, this platform is really a great uh, tool for anyone in the print on demand industry, offering an exclusive collection of fonts, graphics, and much more. I've been using Creative Fabrica assets for a while now, and it really saves a lot of time, effort, and cost by simply finding anything you want in one place and with just one monthly access and one monthly subscription. I will leave a link in the description if you would like to try it for a month for free. But now they have taken a step further with the introduction of Creative Fabrica Studio, which is a design tool that aims to compete with giants like Canva and Kittle. Yes, it's still in the beta version, but it's completely free for now and it looks very promising. So. If you go to the Creative Fabrica uh, Studio dashboard, you will find this menu where you can see all your recent projects and you can access the Fabri Creative Fabrica vectorizer from here. A vectorizer that vectorizes the European G images to vectors where this enables you to upscale the images without problems. And so if you go to the vectorizer, I'm going to upload one of the PNG images, this basketball player image. And as you can see on the left side is the PNG image and it, it's clearly pixelated. And on the right side is the re vectorized result, which can be used as uh, SVG and which means that you can change its colors and upscale it without problems. I'm going to do a complete video on the vectorizer soon and you can then download the image or you can import it directly to your uh, Creative Fabrica Studio dashboard. So going back to the Creative Fabrica Studio, we can add a new design from this menu which offers many ready templates that you can use for designing. And the great part is the one that is dedicated for print on demand. As you can see, they have standard templates for many print on demand famous websites like the Amazon Merch, the Red Bubble, Printify, Printful, T Public, and much more. So these are the exact dimension, dimensions recommended or needed for each of these platforms. Otherwise, you can also input your custom dimensions and play with the portrait and landscape mode of your design from here, or you can simply uh, choose one of the templates. So they also have templates for social media and other items. So for now, let's press on create a design this will take us to the main design dashboard of the Creative Fabric Studio. As you can see, it's very similar to Canva and Kittle, where you have all your tools on the left side and the layer panel on the right side. We're going to talk about each of these tabs quickly. So here you have the dimensions of the dashboard that you have created. And you can also change the name of the design from the top. And you can also toggle between the dark mode and the light mode of your dashboard. So all the tools are on the left side. If you're going to press on the templates, 
This will take you to the templates that are offered by the Creative Fabric Studio. As of uh, today, the templates are still limited as it is in the beta version. You can find a couple of templates that are ready. And there is a tab for the uh, Spark AI tool, which is the Creative Fabric AI generation tool. And I've been um, testing it with some uh, prompts. And whenever you enter a prompt and and press on the generate button, it will generate four images for you that you can use for your designs. Next is the graphics tab, which takes you to all the graphics that are available on the Creative Fabric Studio. You can search for anything that you want. So I'm going to search for a dog. We are going to create a simple design here in this video. So I like this mechanical dog image. If you press on any image, it will be placed directly to your artboard. And you can enlarge the image like so by dragging the any of the corners. Next is the text tab. You can choose from ready-made text templates or you can simply Place a text um, uh, bar and change the font and the style. There are a couple of fonts that are already built in with the Creative Fabric Studio. So I'm going to choose this font and again you can change the color the size the font style from from the same uh, tab and from the si right side you can see that the, the layers we have the text on one layer and the dog on, on another layer and if you would like to change the positions of each layer just drag and the layer to above or below the other layer which will move the position of the layer accordingly next we have the elements tab which gives you some options to add some graphics they have some abstract shapes some silhouettes and you can also search for elements that you can add so there are some, if you would like to add a basic shape, like a circle, like a square, you can do it from here. Next is the photos tab. You can search among a variety of photos that you can add to your design if needed. Then comes the background. You can change the color of the background from this tab or you can simply add a completely new background also by uh, choosing the background that you that you want and then there is the patterns tab which provides you with different patterns that you can add to your design and finally there is the uploads tab that if you have any image that you would like to add to the design or to your dashboard from your computer simply add it from from here and also all the images that you have been used that you have been using in the vectorizer it will show up in this tab and you can add it directly as a svg image to your design board we have also the draw tab where you can draw vector lines you can simply choose the brush that you would like to use and draw any shape so let's go back to the background tab and remove our background 
as we are going to create some simple design in this tutorial in this video let's go back first to the uh, spark AI tool and see how it works so if you write any prompt and press on the generate button the spark AI tool will generate four images that you can use and add to your design board so these are the images that have been generated by the spark tool using the prompt that, that is in front of you so if you like any of the images just press on it and it will be added directly to your board and you can continue designing with the image and change the text like so and if you don't like any of the images you can generate four more images for now let's hide the generated image and unhide the mechanical dog back so i'm going to use this font and add some text barking up it's going to be a simple text and simple design just for testing and if you press on the text and while pressing the alt button and move it on your board this will create a duplicate layer of your uh, text like so and I'm going to add additional text to the design the digital tree so it's just a uh, the design is saying barking up the digital tree so now let's go to the elements and try to uh, search for some elements to add let's add some of these futuristic uh, futuristic elements to the to the design and see how it works yeah these stars look nice and this sun will also looks nice on the design it's just a simple design not nothing complicated so if you're done and press on the upper tab you will find a menu where you can download your design if you press on the download button you have the options to download the design in uh, PNG, PDF and JPG and you can also remove the background from by toggling this option and you can download the design as simple as that so now let's add a mock-up to our dashboard using the creative fabrica assets and see how the design is going to look on the mock-up so to do that i'm going to head to the creative fabrica if you have if you have an all access account like i said earlier you have you'll be able to have access to everything on the creative fabrica website you will find the link in the description if you would like to join for free i'm going to search for a t-shirt mock-up so let's try to use this gilden 18000 mock-up so I'm just going to download the mockup and add it to the dashboard. Simply go to the upload tab, choose the mockup image and upload it to your board. Once it's uploaded, just press on it and it will be added to your dashboard. So you can simply group all your design elements together and resize it to fit on your mock-up to see how it looks
or you can simply upload the downloaded PNG design back to your dashboard which is now serves as one PNG image and we can change its transparency from this upper menu if you go to this tool here transparency and reduce the transparency a little bit so that it looks somehow realistic on the mockup this is how the design looks like that we have created on the creative fabrica studio tool with the creative fabrica um, uh, mockup and again you can download everything from the upper menu as we did before so that was a quick video about the creative fabrica studio tool of course it's still in the beta version but it looks really promising you will find a link in the description of this video if you would like to try it out and it's completely free again with the vectorizer so if you have any questions or suggestions for future videos feel free to leave them in the comments below and don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notifications for more insightful tutorials thank you for watching and see you in the next video